My name's Derek. I've spent a number of years in hospital. I live in, you know, I live in the community with 24 hour support. Um, this is my work a placement. I like coming here to learn new skills and it's a good environment. It's a place to come where it's therapeutic. I've done a lot of different sorts of work. I've just done an MVQ2, passed it, and I'm now going to do diploma in furniture restoration. I'm an ex-Paralympia. I got silver and gold at the Atlantic Games. Um, and also, I've, like, I've run all over Europe. I do a lot of cycling. Um, I've represented the country from like 10,000 metres to 5,000 metres to cross country. Um, and it's been a, a good experience, that. And that's been a big achievement for me. For me, it's been a long process, but in the end, it's been, I'm, I'm chuffed to have my own house because I've never had my own house. Like, I know the support I've got now, it's very important to me. Um, and the care I'm getting is, it's just first class. You know, I've never had it in my life. But yeah, I think it's very important to get the right care. My staff helped me to be independent uh, by doing making sure that I get my medication and right and it's ordered right to help me with my bills. And the big thing is, is for me is to make sure I'm kept well and safe. I did choose my home, what sort of a place I wanted to live in, which I live in a bungalow. I chose that and that for me is a, a credit because I've never had that before. I'm Damien and I run this uh, recycling service and I'm the general supervisor of the project. It's actually a pleasure to work with Derek. Derek um, fulfills all the functionality that we need. He turns up with a positive attitude. He's really motivated. He turns up in the right gear. He wears the right PPE and he's very flexible when he gets to site. So Derek does really fulfill um, most roles that we have on site on a rotational basis. He's really keen to stay as long as he can and he does sometimes, when he's on his bike, he comes into work very early in the morning, an hour or so before his staff. Well, I'm looking at the moment to move in to another house, but that's not a big rush. But my big aim is, is to do John Grosse Land's End on a bike ride. That's one charity, one for charity. And I want to do from here to Dover and then ride over to France. So there's my main two big things. But the main thing for me is to keep my, is to keep my mental health well and make sure the right support's there. Like I say, in mental I can go down pretty quick. You know, I get depressed quick. But it's about me being safe and keeping me safe and well and not ending up back in hospitals. You know, I like to share my experience what I've brought you with you today to, you know, address it to other people. Then other people know what I've been through and, you know, it's... I wouldn't like anybody to be in the situation where I've been in and making sure they're looked after in the right way.